about to trigger a lot of people, and I don't mean that in the ways you probably expect, but I'm going to dub thy Adventure Force Command Fire as one of the coolest blasters ever. And I don't know what it is with some people, maybe they uh, hate seeing other people happy or excited for pretty much anything, for any reason, but it's like they uh, don't understand that things in this hobby change, new things come out, so what might have been the coolest thing ever a year ago could get dethroned by something that's even cooler. I just don't understand why that logic doesn't agree with some people. I get more than one comment about people saying, Ah, you said this was the coolest thing ever. What happened? Time happened. And uh, maybe they just are those people who uh, chose a hill to die on and said, This is the coolest hill ever. And then over the next horizon, they spot a hill that has like a swimming pool and shade and a bartender that serves those, you know, tiki drinks with little umbrellas in them, and since they can't say that's the coolest hill ever, they, uh, just sit there in, in misery. Maybe that's what the analogy is, I don't know, but the Venture Force Command Fire is absolutely amazing for a variety of reasons, and, uh, what's better than one Adventure Force Command Fire? Two Adventure Force Command Fire. Because, uh, I was sent another one by, uh, Primetime Toys themselves. I guess they didn't see the fact that I already had a review on the Command Fire out, so they sent me another one, and, uh, I'm really happy because I really like this blaster, but that begs the question, what can I possibly do a video on that involves this blaster or these blasters? Well, there's more than one option, but I do have an idea, and, uh, I'm gonna do a couple of things. The first thing that I want to kind of touch on is the fact that, uh, something I didn't test in this for some reason, I guess I was just so excited, it completely skipped my mind, but apparently these things don't feed, like, standard length darts, because the dart zone darts are slightly, ever so slightly smaller. And that's a problem. So, uh, I have seen a fix for this, but I honestly have not tried it myself, so I'm going to dump out all of these darts, and you just get all over there. And I'm going to look inside of this. And I mean, I guess this thing doesn't feed them. I have honestly never tried, but we are going to take a brand new package of AccuFix. And we're going to put these in there and see if they feed. And if they don't, uh, we may have to figure something out. So. Hopefully this works, because uh, I have another idea, but this is the first one. I'm going to put those in there. I didn't really see how well those things fit in there. I'm going to switch this on. And I'm going to hopefully fire a couple of darts. Ah! 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 That... I won't lie, that really hurts. I, uh... Where were people saying these things don't fire like normal darts? You can see, no, these are like the same length. What? I'm really confused. Is there another dart that I'm just not testing? These were my AccuFix. What else we got? I summon FVJs in attack mode. Now these should be, uh, I guess ever so slightly longer. Now they're, I, they're like, oh, maybe a millimeter longer. Let's find out, because uh, so far I'm completely right on this one, but uh, let's find out. Just going to put those in there, close that up. I really don't want to put my hand in front of these, because that's going to hurt, so we're just going to grab this dinky six-rounder. Ah! 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 Uh-oh. We might actually have a jam of some description. Yeah, there was a slight jam there. I'm gonna put this back in. And just for good measure, I'm gonna put these darts in as well. Give it every chance it has. All right. Fire. So, I 
will concede that possibly there could eventually be some kind of issue. But uh, I didn't really have much of one. And I would say probably the only way you'd fix that is that this orange piece of plastic, as you can probably see, is very thick. And I'm guessing to fix that, you could possibly just cut out a little bit right there. Something, shave it down. I don't know, maybe down here even. No, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. I don't know, do you have that issue? Because I certainly didn't. But uh, that's one thing I wanted to get out of the way because a lot of people were saying, oh, it doesn't feed AccuFix. And I don't know why that was said because they're like the same exact length. I, I, I really don't get it, but let's uh, throw that out there. So good to know, I now have a reason to not worry about this blaster. The other thing that I want to do is since I have two of them, I kind of want to do wield them. And I won't lie, I don't work out all that much. I don't really lift, bro. Although I could probably kick a hole through a car because of, you know, carrying around obscene weight on a daily basis. However, do wielding these things is kind of hard because they're a little bit heavy. And so I kind of wonder how hard it would be to pistol this thing. And I know it's been done and I've seen some internals, although the internals I saw didn't really show off what I want to check out here. But I know like if you look at this orange barrel, it's clearly only held on by like a couple of screws. There's no reason for me to take apart the entire blaster to remove this orange barrel. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna take off this orange barrel because uh, why not? Let's have like a pistol command fire. We have removed one barrel. Now, can you remove this grip? Hmm. Might actually have to remove more screws to remove this grip. sure how I just did that. Looks like the grip kind of was meant to lock into different places at some point. That's a little bizarre. But yes, you can remove the grip. Now the big, big question is can we remove this thing up here? And I'm looking at it and I don't know. Let's find out. That wasn't even hard. Like, that was brain dead easy. Now, I won't, I will concede that this thing doesn't really look that good, but it does take a substantial amount of weight. Not a heck of a lot, but a decent amount off this blaster by removing that. Hmm. I am ever so curious, does it still work? I would assume so, but for argument's sake. Put these three in there, just like that. It works perfectly fine. So this is a lot more comfortable to single wield. And that's important for my ideas. Now, I do have some plans for this, and, I, and my, my main idea from here is that this whole section right here is useless. There's no reason to have that there, but that is like from my elbow to my wrist in length. I have this weird idea of cutting these things down and mounting them using like a EVA foam gauntlet or something, something that really grabs the bottom of it because I don't really think you can grab the side of this since this is going to rotate. That being said, doing that, like if you were to mount it to this piece right here, I think you would be fine. In fact, I think you could take that screw out and put a stronger screw in there, a longer one. That would probably be fine, but mount it to my forearm and have like a ring trigger where I would pull on a ring, it would pull a little piece of line which would move it forward on a uh, trigger. And um, I think 
the rev trigger would be a little bit more difficult. Maybe I'd still have to work with the on and off. Maybe like reach over and turn it on with one hand. Have them on both arms, but yeah, I, I think, I really think that could work. Because then you'd have an arm mounted, basically secondary assault rifle kind of thing that could also double as a shield, but you could also very easily reach over, open it up and drop new darts in there, close it and run around and do what all. And if you have the right trigger system, it would be really easy to pull your finger or like your pinky or something. Something that you could do also while holding, say, another blaster. So if I have like this Baron, for instance, in my hand, and I, I don't know, uh, maybe pull my wrist out or something? After switching it on, because you'd still want to switch it on, I'd have to put the little rev switch somewhere else. But, I mean, or have just a two-stage two, two trigger, so you pull the little bit back and then pull it some more. Something like that, you kind of get what I'm saying. Because this thing is, this is pointless. You remove, you cut this down, you could very easily get, like, an arm-mounted blaster out of it. That's hopper-fed, and 40 darts, so you have two of them, that's 80 darts. You see where I'm going with this. It's just a crazy idea. I could also do the obvious, and that is, of course, double it up together. Because this would be incredibly easy to do, and uh, would probably look pretty ballin'. So, I am going to end things right there. That is all I'm going to do with this blaster in this video. But, I am going to take your guys' suggestions and I'm going to put in the corner, in a card, you know those card things that nobody pays attention to? They work on both mobile and, of course, normal usage. But uh, I'm going to say, on the card in the corner, you should vote whether I should do something different, I should make a double command fire, or I should make dual arm command fire gauntlets. Because that will be exceptionally easy to do. Either way, I want your guys' feedback on what you're going to see, so vote for it in the corner. And uh, when you see the commission project get done, that's going to be one of the next builds I'm going to work on. And either way, it should be something that I can turn around in a couple of days. So here's hoping that uh, things start going my way. Either way, that's how easy it is to get a pistol command fire, and that is how easy it is to... Uh, use different types of darts with it. So, this has been Wolcom's Hands. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to Primetime Toys for sending me another one of these things so I can uh, make dreams come true. And if you have not seen my Command Fire review, it is awesome. Go check it out. And, uh, well, thank you very much for watching this video. And, of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up,